action. I am Ruby Madison Francisco. I am five years old, and I'm going to read you How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Four Teddy Owens. Every who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot. But the Grinch, who just half of Whoville, did not. Did not. The Grinch hated Christmas. The whole Christmas season. Now, please don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. It could be that his head wasn't screwed on just right. It could be perhaps that his shoes were too tight. But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been his heart with two sizes too small. But whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve hating the Who's. Startled down from his cave with a sour, grinchy frown at the warm lighted windows below in their town. For he knew every he who down in Whoville beneath was busy now, hanging a mistletoe wreath. And they're hanging their stockings, he gnarled gnar with a sneer. Tomorrow's Christmas is practically here. He growled with his thing drumming. I must find some way for Christmas from coming for tomorrow. He knew. All the who girls and boys would wake bright and early. Uh, did I, Mr. Page? I don't think so. Wash their toys and then all the noise, all the noise, 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 noise. That one thing he hated, the noise, 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 and noise. Do you know uh, what is the noisiest toy? That big drum? What else? Noisy toys? How about no. those arrows hitting the target? Yeah. Pop, 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 I bet they go. Uh, that? Don't lose your page. Okay. Then the Who's, young and old, would sit down to a feast, and they feast, and they feast, and they feast, 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 feast. They would feast on Who footing, and where Who rose beast, which is something the Grinch couldn't stand in the least. And then they'd do something he liked least of all. Every who down to Whoville, the tall and the small, would sit together with Christmas bell ringing. They'd stand hand in hand. Then the who's would start singing. They'd sing and they'd sing and they'd sing, 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 sing. The more the Grinch fought of this who Christmas sing, the more the Grinch fought, I must stop this whole thing. Why, for 53 years I put up with this now. I must stop this Christmas from coming. But how? Oh, I know what he'll do. He's got, then he's got an idea, an awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I know what just to do, the Grinch laughed in his throat. I made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat. He chuckled and chuckled. What a great grinchy cheek with this coat. And I just, I just, I look just like St. Nick. All I need is a reindeer. The Grinch looked around. But since reindeer were scarce, there were none to be found. Did that stop the old Grinch? No, the Grinch simply said. 
If I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. So he called his dog Max, and he took some red thread and tied a big horn to the top of his head. Then he loaded some bags and some old empty sacks to the red sleigh and hitched up old Max. The Grinch said, Giddy up! And the sleigh started down towards the the, the whores were the who, who's lay snooze in their town. All their windows were dark, quite snow filled the air. The who's were dream, all dreaming sweet dreams without care. Then he came to the first little house on the square. This is stop number one, the old Grinchy Claws hissed. He, and he climbed to the roof, empty fags in his fist. He slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch. But if Santa could do it, so could the Grinch. He got stuck oh, only once for a minute, a moment or two. Then he stuck his head out of the fireplace view. The little who stockings all hung in a row. These stockings, he grinned, are the first things to go. He slivered and slunk with a ma with a smile so most unpleasant. Around the whole room he took every present. Popguns, bicycle, roll skates, drums, checkerboards, fries, popcorn, and plums. And he stuffed them in bags, the Grinch, he humbly stuffed all the bags one by one up the chimney. Then he snuck to the ice box. He took the Who's Feast. He took the Who Pudding. He took the Roast Beast. He cleaned out the ice box as quick as a flash. Why that Grinch, that Grinch, even took the last can of hash. Then he stuffed all the food up the chimney with glee. And now, Grin the Grinch, I will stuff up the I think he's going to do. Okay. Hard to believe anybody could be so mean, huh? The Grinch grabbed the tree and started to shove. Then he heard a small sound like a coo of a dove. He turned around fast and he saw a small who. Little Cindy Lou who, that was no more than two. The Grinch had been caught by the tiny new daughter. Who'd got out of bed for a cup of cold water? She started. She startled the at the. She started it at the Grinch and said, "Santa Claus, why? Why are you taking our Christmas tree? Why?" And you know what he'll do? What does he do? Fib to the child. Does he fib to the child? And here is it. But you know the old Grinch was so smart and so slick, he fought up a lie. He fought up quick. Why, my sweet little top of fake Santa Claus lied. There's a, there's a light on this tree that won't light on one side. So I'm taking it to home to my workshop, my dear. I'll fix it up there and bring it back here. And this fib fooled the child. Then he patted her head, gave he and he got her a drink, and she sent and he sent her to bed. And then seeing who who went to bed with her cup, he went to the chimney and stuffed the tree up. And the last thing he took was a log for their fire. Then he went up the chimney himself, the old liar. 
on their walls was nothing but some hooks and some wire. And the one speck of food they left in the house was a crumb that was even too small for a mouse. Can you uh, put the pages? Still? Then he he did the same thing the, to the other who's houses. Even crumbs meant too small for the other who's mouses. It was quarter past dawn, all the who's still in bed, all the who's still snooze. Then he packed up his sled. Packed it up with their presents, the ribbons, the wrappings, the tags, the tassels, the, the timings, the wrappings. Three thousand feet up, up the side Mount Crumpet. He rode to the tip to dump it. Poo poo to the who the Grinch was uh the Grinch was simply Grinchously. He was Grinchly humming. They're finding out now they know Christmas is coming. They're just they're just waking up. I know just what they'll do. Their mouse will hang up a mare or two, and the who's down who will all cry boo hoo. Okay, you can. But the noise, grinned the Grinch. I simply must hear. And he paused, and put, and the Grinch put a hand to his ear. And and he did hear. A sound rising over the snow. It started in, in low, then it started to grow. What did he hear? You'll find out. But the sound wasn't sad. The sound sounded merry. It couldn't be Eso. It was merry, very. He started down. He started down Whoville at Whoville. The Grinch popped the dots. He then he shook. It was a shopping surprise. And you know what it was? No, what was we'll, it? We'll find it out. <gasps> okay. Every who down who built the tall and small was singing without any presents at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming, it came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. Uh, so he just the Grinch, the Gr and the Grinch, with his Grinch feet, ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons, it came without tags, it came without packages, bugs or bags. He puzzled it three hours till his puzzler was sore. The Grinch fought something he hadn't before, maybe Christmas he fought. Doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas perhaps means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville they say that that what the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. The minute his heart didn't feel quite so tight. He whistled to his load for the morning light. He brought back the toys he brought and the and food for the feast. And he... He himself, he himself the Grinch, carved the roast beast. Thank you for my presentation by reading a little. And Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to you all. Thank you, honey. You did such a good job.